Bunch of great tell me where you at. Some motivation, guys. Back your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. I'm back again to encourage you to be great, not only in this game, but also in life. So whatever you're facing, man, continue to persevere because no one can stop you but you. Don't give any excuses about anything else. The only person that could quit is you. So keep going. All right. So uh, so what do we know about pros, right? Like, you know, we know how they train. We get excited when they announce their duos and we all celebrate when they manage to beat all the odds to take home a victory at a competition. So how do you get to this point and how do you boost your Fortnite career so you have better chances of building such a high group of followers. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's what we're going to talk about today. But before we do, it's time to sit back, relax, and grab some of my favorite candy. What is it, y'all? Say it out loud. It's that bunch of crunch. Y'all, let's get this going. So the competition is fierce in Fortnite, man. But we're not talking about arena or the comp scene. We're talking about the fight for the spotlight. You know, being a pro gamer is more than just having a good skill. Like you also need to be actively participating in everything from tournaments to scrims to joining smaller, you know, communities where you can really just get to know other players. You know, this is all because not everybody can achieve the same level as players such as Clicks and Booga or Epic Well. In fact, sometimes you might think you're doing pretty good as far as skills go, but then struggle to gain a following against the countless other players trying to do the same thing. So what is one way that we can make this a lot easier? For starters, you need to know when to flex and you need to know when to listen. You know, when you're playing Fortnite, guys, there are times that you're going to want to show off how fast you are at building or your crazy aiming skills and, you know, maybe the multiple, you know, eliminations at the same time. But, you know, one thing that often falls under the radar is just simply having the ability to listen to feedback and not get full of yourself. You know, followers may find it fun to watch a very fun show of a player go up against, you know, any other pro, but but other pros are just more likely to really team up with players who are gonna have the rest of the team in mind. Like if you look at some of the pros out there today, such as Clicks or Benji Fishy, like you could just see how they've grown over the years. And you know, this is because they know how to take advantage of their mistakes so they can just learn to be better. You know, it's not always about showing off the flex, but listening when the flex doesn't go as well as it could. And so this resonates with other players who see you, not as this player who has just like natural skills, but someone that just really works hard for it. So this, you become more relatable to the audience audience as well, right? Let me ask you this. You guys got a good following, but want to sharpen your skills? Click on the link below and visit ProGuys.com and, you know, discover the latest pro strategies for this season's meta. Get a head start on the competitive season by just getting in touch with our pros who can just unleash your hidden potential. Become a better strategist, master your mechanics, and learn what it means to become a Fortnite legend. You know, playing with other competitive players is great for improving your skills. Like they can just make great sparring partners and really can just help you learn plenty of new tricks and strategies when you put your heads together. You know, there are just more than just training benefits that come with partnering up. You know, you also get to spread your name across the community a whole lot more. You know, word of mouth is so important for you guys to really take advantage of. And there's just no better way than by playing with other pros. Like if you stream and practice and participate in tournaments together, then it's possible for communities and followings to merge. For example, clicks and day practice Practice together so fans of clicks are now familiar with who day is you know the same goes vice versa this exposure is just great for increasing your following and if you have social media then you should be able to see a boost in activity I mean it's a pretty good benefit and even helps you when you know you switch duo partners later on in your career you know one more benefit that really comes from playing with other pros is whether or not organizations are going to take notice of you you know synergy is something many orgs look for and just knowing that they can match you up with other you know known players can be a great way for them to really create hype around the brand. I mean, what's better than having a solo player join their ranks than an unstoppable duo or trio getting signed on together? Once again, you know, word of mouth plays a big part in giving you more chances to be noticed by the big leagues. All right, so now it's time, ladies and gentlemen, Butch Chris on me for the question of the day. What is your favorite pro in the Fortnite community and why? Leave a response in the comment section below. We definitely want to know what you think. One thing you should always keep in mind is your solo career. You know, it can be tempting to start off your journey into Fortnite starting by playing with a friend, but you know, one thing that's gonna help you guys boost your career in the long run is having a stable record as a solo player. Being able to quickly build, you know, get multiple kills in one game and getting more arena points are just a great accomplishment for solo players. You know, if you just jump right into the team oriented parts of becoming a pro, but have nothing to back up your own performance, you know, in game, it's just possible that the community might start to wonder if your teammate is the one who carries you during a match. Remember, players who jump into trios might refine one role as a fragger or support, but a solo player will be forced to use all their mechanics. 
You know, engagement with your core fan base is just so important for letting your followers know that you are listening, you know, but it's also a great way to really build hype around yourself as a pro player. You know, let players in so, you know, they can just see what you do to train each day. You know, give them advice. And if you could just find yourself being really good at the game, feel free to share your settings. Many people who follow the pros get excited when they just know that they've been following a pro since they were a nobody. Watching them become the masters they are today is just pretty much a bragging right. You know, what makes it even more interesting is when the pro appreciates their own following and just gives back the same support that they were given when they were coming up. So if you're a comp player and you really want to start making waves in the community, then the first step would have to be to get more exposure through social media and content making. You know, being able to capture footage and just share it to others through platforms such as YouTube and Twitch, it's going to allow you guys to just show off your skills to a wider audience. This is just a fantastic way to hype others up and just get them rallying behind you during the next tournaments. But the next step to really boost your progress is making sure people can actually find your content. And for this, you're going to want to learn a little more about how YouTube search engine works. Basically, every player wants their footage to come up when others search a Fortnite. But one way to make it easier is by having snappier titles. You know, this is best when you don't have a massive following and you're still just trying to get your name out there. You know, when people search up content such as the best landing spots or fast arena points, like you can often find other players showing off a landing spot they think is great or players showing off how many arena points they have. This is because when you look up content like this, they're most likely are going to show up. You know, once you have a stable following, then many more or people are going to be able to find your content by looking up your name. But first, you need to make sure as many people as possible can find out who you are. So the next time you make a wild play, guys, or just break your record for most solo kills in the game, just make sure that you come up with an interesting title that can really catch the attention of anybody scrolling around the Fortnite tag. All right, so one thing that goes overlooked when playing Fortnite is your ability to speak clearly. You know, often many players are gonna know the exact clips they need to just really flex to the audience, but they really don't include any other dialogue. You know, a good pro is always charismatic, you know, because it just makes their content just really fun to watch. If you have good skills, but all you do is just show clips without saying anything at all, what's gonna separate you from the rest of the talented players who are doing the same thing as you? So learn to speak clearly, and you're not only gonna be able to engage with your fans, but it's gonna just make it a lot easier for people to really be attracted to you. And it's just a skill that we really need for comms during a match. All right, so one of the most important things that you should keep in mind when you want to go from a talented player to a popular player is keeping your engagement professional. You know, this can just really make or break your career in the long run. Yes, it's fun to trash talk. I mean, it's also fun to feel like you're the best player in the world. But if you don't stay professional, you're less likely to be taken seriously by the big league organizations. So keep in mind, man, like when you're just first coming up, the world might seem pretty big. But the truth is that news travels fast and the more popular you become, the faster it travels. If the players you team up with think that you're a good listener, don't get toxic. And just, you know, just learn from making mistakes. And if you could do that in their eyes, you're good. You know, same goes for organizations. If something like NRG sees that you're just mature during contract negotiations and you're a pleasure to work with them, if you keep your performance up, you might be able to extend it if you wish. All right, guys, so before we wrap things up today, don't forget to check out ProGuys.com for pro-level coaching. Come in from any skill level and come out one step closer towards pro startup. But score some of you when you watch the motivation, guys. Back, that's gonna be it for today's video. Hope you guys loved it. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, you know, also feel free to leave a comment and let us know what you guys think. Remember, guys, skills can win you tournaments, but your career also depends on how the community sees you. So practice refining both, you know, and you're gonna have a real shot at becoming a pro with fantastic skills and an entourage. You can't wait to see what you accomplish next. Hey, make sure to connect with my Instagram and your motivation guy. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.